table. It's hot on the heels of Ipswich Town in pursuit of third place and the glamour and money it can now bring via the Champions League. Leeds know just how much it's worth. Third last May, they're now preparing for a quarter-final tie against Deportivo La Coruña on Wednesday night. Sunderland are hoping to qualify for Europe for only the second time in their history. Ironically, their only previous involvement came as a result of beating today's opponents in the FA Cup final 28 years ago. Peter Reid is able to name an unchanged side this afternoon, Gavin McCann having recovered from the knee injury that forced his withdrawal from the England squad for last week's two matches. There's a home debut for French fullback Patrice Carteron, who's on loan from Saint-Étienne until the end of the season. Leeds make just one change as they look for their sixth victory from the last seven matches on the road. Captain Lucas Radebe returns to the side after a knee injury, replacing Dominic Matteo, who injured ankle ligaments playing for Scotland against San Marino on Wednesday night. Our referee today is Steve Dunn, as Sunderland look for their first home win in the Premiership since New Year's Day, while Leeds United aim to extend their unbeaten run in the league to nine matches. Early touch of the ball for Carteron, the lone signing from Saint-Étienne. Leeds United's players all wearing black armbands this afternoon, memory of David Rowe Castle, who sadly died today. Harry Kuehl. Viduka. Early intent from Leeds United, but uh, no problem for Sorensen in the Sunderland goal, the Danish international. Muscled in midfield, but uh, Steve Dunn was happy with it. Strong running here by Sunderland. This is Arca. Good play. McCann. Ferdinand came across and has one or two strong words to say to his fellow defenders. Meanwhile, Olivier Dacour is still down. He was certainly outnumbered as he tried to hang on to the ball. It's Arca on the right-hand side there, Schwarz just holds off. Schwarz, McCann and Arca, I think it was the challenge of McCann that finally put Dakor to the floor. And a worrying opening few minutes for David O'Leary here. Sporting applause for Olivier Dakor, it's never what we want to see and we hope that he's not seriously injured. Backer has work to do the moment he's on the field of play. Carter on with the throw in. Davy up well at the expense of a corner. Jody Craddock joining the players inside and around the penalty area. Martin again under pressure on his line. A can going in twice. Ball could go anywhere here. This doesn't come down quickly enough for Arca. Crowd don't like the challenge of Smith. Carteron did not provide the cross that he was hoping for. But Sunderland having a good early spell here. And Mills up well. Schwarz! Very close to the opening goal for Sunderland. Arcus corner evaded everybody in the penalty area, apart from those right at the back post. Schwartz just couldn't quite get behind it. And incidentally, we hear that uh, Olivier Dacour is uh, OK, which is good news. Mills. This time the flag stays down.
Bowyer's away here. What a chance! And a very poor miss. The flag stayed down. And Leeds did have a player who was offside in the middle who was running back momentarily. But the shot was uh, rather disappointing anyway. Meanwhile, here comes Carterock. Phillips making a run to the D on the edge of the area. Hutchison can't find him. Marco can't find Carterock. Schwartz. This is Gray. Now Phillips. McCann runs to the edge of the box as well. Phillips! Hutchison. Carter on going for route one, and he's picked out to Kevin Phillips beautifully. And they don't like that at the Stadium of Light. Phillips thought that he should have got a free kick out of that one, challenged by Rio Ferdinand. And still Phillips is fuming and looking towards this near side. Carter on's first time ball picked out Phillips beautifully. Ferdinand is the defender who is chasing hard all the way. And that looks a free kick to me. We are not amused, say the Sunderland bench. And the temperature has just gone up a notch or two inside the stadium. Hart with the corner. Space for Kuehl, Smith! Unmarked inside the penalty area. He is a lethal finisher. Sunderland may well have been distracted by a feeling of indignation at not getting a free kick at the other end of the field. Phillips continued arguing, but look at the space there for Alan Smith. And Sunderland concede a goal at home for only the ninth time all season. Good header. And it's Alan Smith's second Premiership goal in his last 19 games. Carter on with a free kick for Sunderland. Looking for Kilban. Mills is there first. Viduka and Smith head tennis between the two. And now Craddock's under real pressure. And this time Smith goes down in exactly the same spot where Kevin Phillips fell during the first half. And again, the referee decides to offer no free kick. And again, the attacking player is left cursing the linesman on this near side. A little nudge in the back there on Smith, perhaps. Kilban for Sunderland. Finding Phillips, Arca moving away towards the far side. Carter runs in space, but Sunderland lose, lose their way. Tome again with a good interception. But now here comes Harry Kuehl. Carter on can't quite get back. Good save by Sorensen. Kuehl was away there. The challenge initially was from Bowyer and the ricochet fell kindly for the Australian. He looked as though it was away, Carteron made up the ground, but it was a fine save from Sorensen. Hasn't had much to do today, but he was there when Sunderland needed him on that particular occasion. Ferdinand, one of the players up for the corner. Kuehl! Can't get any direction on the header. Here's Smith, of all people, who's peeled out wide, whose tussle with Gavin McCann continues. Smith and McCann tussling for the ball. Smith goes down and uh, brings Michael Gray with him. And uh, goes into the referee's notebook for his troubles. This is a chance for Harry Kuehl to almost put Leeds out of sight at 2-0. Carteron put him off a bit, but that was fine goalkeeping by Sorensen, a great save.
Smith tangling there with Carter on the French defender. And Alan Smith is sent off. Well, it's been a niggly performance throughout the afternoon. And once again, Alan Smith's temperament has perhaps got the better of him. Carter on back to get hold of the ball for Sunderland. And uh, not a silly challenge more than anything else. Archer, that's a good pass. De Kio, intelligent play. Phillips trying to turn. Oh! Good save! And now Nigel Martin needs to be alert. Phillips just couldn't find the space to turn. Arca so nearly found the bottom corner. Fine play by the young Argentinian under-21 international. Carter on by the lead supporters for his part in the challenge with Alan Smith that saw Smith eventually sent off. His shot! Oh, that was so close. For the second time today, Stefan Schwartz has gone close for Sunderland. Carter on's ball in. The knockdown. And again a first-time shot. Well, it dipped. Not quite enough. Rio Ferdinand, who just strides forward. Very smoothly, trying to find Viduka, advantage play to Sunderland. Martin under real pressure here, oh! Sunderland so close to an equaliser. De Kio causing the problem, Bowyer in the way of Nigel Martin. Couldn't get hold of the ball at the second attempt. And Arthur with a shot over the top. Sunderland still in the thick of the fight for European football, but uh, this may prove to be a little setback for them. Bowie with a free kick. Good running here by Robbie Keane. Flag stays down. Viduka's unmarked in the middle. And there it is. Mark Viduka's 20th goal of the season. Leeds' second goal of the match. And they've won this match in the push for the Champions League place for next season. Quick thinking by Bowyer with the pass. Keane just onside. Neat skill to turn inside his man. And Viduka just poking it home. And Leeds set to chalk up another away victory. Viduka away from his marker. And it's five in five now for the Australian. And some of the faithful here have seen enough. Key match in Sunderland season, and uh, in truth they've been comprehensively beaten. There we have it, the final whistle, and Sunderland have been beaten at home again by Leeds United. This is the fifth time in a row they've come to Sunderland and won a league fixture. And uh, the man at the centre of it all really is Alan Smith, who scored in the first half on 32 minutes and then got himself sent off in the second period for a second bookable offence. The big talking point, though, as far as Sunderland are concerned, came during the first half, that challenge between Phillips and Ferdinand, but in the end, Mark Viduka sealing the victory for them by two goals to nil and another step towards a return to the Champions League next season, perhaps.